Hey y'all. So here at the Raymer Woodyard once again, as you can see. So I am going to attempt to burn some of this wood on the ends the month and the year of when I stacked it. That way I don't have to look back at pictures to see exactly when I stacked it. And anyway, this is just an attempt to see if this helped. I got this for Christmas for, for my parents. So I'm hoping that it's super handy in this situation. Use my little Ego Power Inverter, which is comes in pretty handy for something small like this. Um, see how it works. I've had it on now for maybe a couple of minutes at the highest temperature, the hottest temperature it'll go. And so I'm going to attempt to burn in here nine slash twenty four. That would be nice if I can do this. You guys in there? See it? Sort of, kind of. See if I can do it. See how well this stuff burns. Oh yeah. This is green too, so if it was dry, I'd burn even better. Just hoping no ants, fire ants, get me. Ooh, one got me. One got me. When the fire in, it was a horse fly. Woo! And I hurt. Okay, keep your head on the swivel out here, y'all. Keep your head on the swivel. Right there yesterday. I don't know what that is, but still here. So, Ooh, you can smell it. Smells good. What is happening? What is getting me over here? There's that horse fly. Here we go. Y'all see that? I don't think I can zoom in. Let's see if I can bring you a little closer. 924. There we go. So I'm gonna do that. So probably another one down here at the bottom somewhere. That way I kind of know what diagonal line I stacked it in. Maybe. What do y'all think? Maybe? 924. I'll do it down here too. So I don't catch any grass on fire. That'd be bad. It's not gonna be quite as easy down here. Let's see what we can do. There we go. That almost looks like a four. But hopefully I can tell the difference. All right, that was that was fun. What y'all think about that? Y'all see that down there? I'm gonna turn you around real quick. Here we go, y'all. Nine twenty-four. Kind of looks like a four, doesn't it? That that nine, but oh well. Do what you gotta do. So I did it there, and then diagonally, I finished right there. Nine twenty-four. I wonder what that's going to look like. Because it's probably going to split on the ends. I don't know. I'm going to burn some um, some older stacks. Here in a second. Let's see how that looks. Alright y'all. I'm cutting it back on. Got several bars. You can see the green bars lit up. So I did this October of 2023. 
I started, I believe, on the other end of the stack. Way down here. Huh? Way down there. Here we go. 10-23, October 2023. That's when I split it and stacked it. Doesn't show up as good on the green wood as it does the seasoned wood. Oh. All right, and down here we will do October 10. So we'll do 10-23. One of these pieces. Let's go this guy right here. 10.23 on the red maple. All right, so what I've learned from doing this is it does take a little time, but it works so much better on the green, freshly sp split wood, and that's maple right there. But um, it's just so much easier, and so much easier to see. Once, once it's seasoning or, or drying and it turns like that darker color, it's, it's difficult to see um, the numbers on there. So I think I'm gonna try and start doing this from now on when I start splitting. It's pretty neat. All right, guys, hope you'll have a great day. Enjoyed using this little wood burning tool here. Pretty neat that I got for Christmas from my parents with my Ego power inverter. It works just fine. Um, took a little, little while to burn it. Uh, but it was a little easier on the green wood for some reason, which has a lot more moisture in it than the seasoning drier wood. Um, and obviously it's a lot easier to see uh, the numbers on the wood. So I would recommend if you're going to do this, then do it before your wood starts seasoning because it's more difficult to see. Um, I'm going to try and implement that going forward. Hopefully I can remember to do this. It just helps me understand about how long it's been out here, the seasoning process and all that kind of stuff. So. Anyway, hope you'll have a great day. And remember, Raymer Wood is just the right size.